Okay, let's talk a little bit about CFMs. Uh, basically, on your furnace, uh, it's going to say somewhere how many CFMs your furnace uh, will need to push. Usually around 50,000, it's uh, say 1,000, and then if you like 100,000 BTU burns, it could be like 1,600 CFM. So usually, you know, like your 50,000 BTUs and your 70,000 BTUs, you're usually around 1,000 or 1,200. So let's talk about your returner first. Um, you can see here your uh, 24 by 8 is going to push about 1100 CFMs. Uh, that's good for say 50, 70, 75,000, but that's it. Once you get into a 100,000 BTU furnace, you're up here to 1600. Alright, and at that point, you're going to need to use a 24 by 10. So, that's what I recommend for uh, 100,000. And some manufacturers recommend two return errors. So, you would need two 8.24s on uh, the bigger you go. So, the smaller the furnace, the smaller, the less stock work you need. Okay. Alright, let's talk about supply now. Let's say you need a thousand CFM. If you have a main trunk line, or you're going to install a main trunk line, of course, 24 by 8 would be your, your, probably your minimum size that you can use. That's mostly, that's a standard size everybody uses. So your main trunk will be 24 by 8. And of course, if it's um, 100,000 BTUs, you're going to need a, probably a you know, 24 by 10. So, I'm just give you a, a rough idea on what size you would need. Let's talk about uh, run number. Now, you know, if you, you're probably going to get about 200 CFMs out of a piece of 8 inch duckware. If it's 8 inch all the way through, um, if you decrease it down, it won't flow that much. Um, a 6 inch piece of duckware, you're probably going to get about 100 CFMs out of it. It isn't very much, so. If all your duct work is six, six inch, you're going to need at least 11, 12 of those uh, to do a whole house. So, that's why I always say go with 8 inch. You'll probably get you know, around 200. So, you need at least 5 of them. 5 or 6. Minimum. So your furnace uh, runs correctly. Okay. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview on um, duckwork sizes and CFMs. Uh, you, can, you know, really run duckwork. Six and eight is what everybody uses. Um, nine kind of isn't practical. Or seven, you don't want to buy seven inch or nine inch duckwork or even ten. Um, Really, that's uh, not practical. Six and eight is what most people buy. Six for your bathrooms. It's really, really small rooms. Eight for everything else. So you at least get 200 per run. So you got to move the air, not only to keep your mills low, to have your furnace run efficiently. And I can't stress more about the return air. 24 by 8. That's 50, 70, 75. Anything more, you're going to need to bump it up. Or arrange your directions. Some of them want two return errors, which would be two 24 by 8s to flow enough air. Um, 
for your furnace. So you gotta pay attention to that. If you have 100,000, 125,000, and you only have one return error, that's something you're gonna need to look into. I'm not sure about the 100,000 BTU furnace, but I knew, I knew no, once you started getting there or above, you should read your directions and make sure you have the proper return error number. So, there you go. Um, keep in mind, as you go through the walls, and uh, the note work inside the walls is usually a lot smaller, that will flow a lot less air. You need to take that into consideration. I don't have that chart right now. Uh, that's something I'd have to look up. But this is basic sizes. Um, just to give you a, a basic idea on CFMs and the work sizes, what you have or what you need. Okay, as a general rule, uh, cooling, uh, you're going to need 400 CFM per ton. So if you have a 3 ton unit, you're going to need 1,200 CFMs. If you have a 4 ton unit, which a lot of people know, you're going to need 1,600 CFMs. That's a lot of error, so you, you should make sure your duct work can push it. Heating, you need 12 CFMs per thousand BTUs. So if you have a um, higher thousand BTU furnace, you're going to need uh, 1200 CFMs. So that will give you like a general rule on uh, airflow requirements for equipment.